what's going on guys Johnny with Blades of Grass Long here today I'm going to sharpen my blades but um let me say something real quick um, I get this questions all, all the time right you guys ask how often should I sharpen my blades and the reality is no one can determine the frequency of you sharpening your blades except you because there are several things that can contribute to your frequency of you know you sharpening your blades uh, are you steadily cutting overgrown grass are you mowing weekly properties are you mowing by weekly properties what type of turf are you cutting so so there is a lot of factors are you a homeowner are you a professional are you using mulching blades are you using high lift low lift regular blades are you push mowing or are you utilizing a tractor lawn tractor or are you utilizing a zero turn all of that uh, and also the type of blade that you're using contributes to when do you actually sharpen your blade that's the reality guys don't let anyone on the internet tell you you have to sharpen your blades every three days because I may be mowing I don't know 30 properties a day, you may be mowing 10 properties a day, right? It makes a difference on, on when you sharpen your blades. So the easiest way to know if you need to sharpen your blades is if when you're mowing that grass, instead of cutting the grass, you're tearing the grass. And I try to put some pictures here of, this is what it looks like if you're cutting your grass and, and your blades is nice and sharp. And then this is what it looks like if you're actually ripping your blades. So hopefully I can get a picture to put in there, okay? So again, you determine the frequency in which you sharpen your blade. Simple as that. Um, so yeah, let me, know, let me know if you have any questions or you have any comments. Because, you know, that is the reality. The reality is you determine when your blades need to be sharpened. Not anyone on the internet. I can't tell you. Because again, like I said before, I don't know what you're cutting. I don't know you know, how you cut in all that good stuff. You may be cutting, like, like I said, overgrown grass and you're, you know, cutting all kind of stuff, you know, little trees and stuff like that with your mower. And me, I'm on a weekly basis right now. And all my properties are, you know, I'm cutting grass and weeds. That's it, grass and weeds. Um, so, yeah. But today, and, and keep in mind, this is what I'll tell you. I am mowing 10, to 14 properties a day right now uh, Monday through Thursday and then I do two commercials uh, properties that I do on Fridays and uh, right now I'm doing them on a bi-weekly schedule because again you know I'm doing you know plant growth regulators but that's another video so on average I'm, I'm sharpening my blades once a week simple as that what once a week man you should be sharpening your blades listen i've been doing this for 13 years and this is what works for me okay you may be doing the same thing and feel different that's fine that is fine that's what this is this is what this is all about it's about you doing what fits your business you know don't worry about anybody else's opinion believe me you're not gonna make everybody happy all right so let's take this more down and show you how I sharpen my blades. By the way guys, here it is. <laughs> my 450, right, by steel. Now it's mine because it is in my color. Match, right? <laughs> Make it my own. Now, I said this before, but I will reiterate it. I spoke to all the brands, dealership that I have around my area, and no one said that the warranty will be void if you paint your equipment, okay? So, there you go. But, just to be on the right side, just to make it easy, make sure that you check with your dealer, okay? Because again, this makes it mine, and uh, you know, somebody steal it, whatever the case might be, it is personalized, right? Awesome, all right, let's keep it moving. 
All right, so let's get my manual mower lift here so I can raise my mower up. And as an additional safety precaution, we're gonna put these under here. And again, you may call it a overkill, but guys, let me tell you, I just wanna ensure that nothing happens. I'd rather be safe than sorry. All right. So, take my blades off and let's go ahead and sharpen them. So, this is the All American Blade Sharpener. And again, I will leave a link in the video description to the uh, sharpener. And the one that I use is the 5005 Generation 2. And uh, right now, I think I paid 220 bucks for it and I'm using my Milwaukee battery powered grinder with a 40 grit sandpaper disc on it and like I said before guys look at my Amazon store and I will leave a link to everything that you see in this video and I found that it does an excellent job in and out real quick simple and easy i like my stuff to be simple and easy and uh, with this sharpener it gives you the ability to kind of move things up and down you know get your nice degree of sharpening and it holds your blade exactly where you want it and there's no there's no second guessing okay so it works for me like i said before so just wanted to show you guys and you know speeding up the process here um mainly i do you know three to four passes and i'm good to go and i try to do the same on both sides and like i said before i'm sharpening my blades once a week and as you can tell um and by my videos things look good i have no issues all right Let's go ahead and uh, get them installed. And what I like to do is to, because this uh, Toro Revolution have two little holes where you actually, because the blade itself has two small guide holes. So you place those in the guide holes and kind of tighten it up. But now here I kind of saw that I needed to clean the deck so I'm just kind of scraping the deck off and cleaning things up and all of this was from uh, yesterday it had rain in the morning so everything was kind of wet but yeah just clean the deck off real quick before I install the other blades And there you go. Time to put my blades back on. Like I said before, guys, I like to do things simple and easy. Not trying to reinvent the wheel. But one thing that I need to do is get additional blades for this uh, for this uh, stand on. Definitely. Alright, so we're all finished now. Drop my mower. Put my lift back. And before I actually put the mower back up. Let me move it out the way. Get the blower and clean things up.
All right, guys. So that is it. That's the way I usually just uh, sharpen my blades. And I, I guess what, once a month, then I will balance it. But as you can tell, I make the same swipes and keep it going. I, I, like I said before, guys, I've been doing this years and years and I've never had an issue. Um, I don't balance my blades all the time. Never had an issue with my gas powered uh, machines. Uh, and I've been doing it since I've had the uh, Total Revolution Grandstand. And again, no issues. So again, we all do things differently. And uh, my opinion is my opinion, right? Again, we all have different situations. We all have different way of doing things, okay? Guys, I will leave a uh, link to the All-American Blade sh uh, Sharpener and everything that you see on my videos. Have a blessed one. See you on the next one. Like, share, subscribe. Pop smoke. Hmm.